if you are one of the many marketers I meet that complain about the budget or lack of resources, you're not alone. A lot of marketers really are constrained with the resources that they have, with the budgets that they have, and they feel that if only I had more resources, if only I had more money, if only I had more people, I could be much more effective. So let me suggest a very provocative idea to you. I call it zero dollar marketing. Yes, zero dollar marketing. What does that mean? It means that you can actually put the assets, the privileged assets that you own to work with very, very little incremental spend. So what are these privileged assets? You actually own a lot of privileged assets. First privileged asset and the most important one are your customers. Well, how can we get our customers to do our marketing for us? That's the most obvious way in which you can amplify your marketing resources and your investments, and that is getting your customers to advocate for you. So this requires you to think carefully about who are my advocates, how do I identify them, how do I engage them, how do I empower them, how do I incentivize them so that they can start to do the marketing for me. This idea of fan marketing or customer advocacy based marketing is something that we're learning from some of the newer startups, particularly the Chinese companies. If we study what Xiaomi and OnePlus have done, they use their fans very, very effectively as a marketing and sales force that literally are hundreds and thousands and millions of people advocating for them. So your customers can do the marketing for you. That's one lever you can push. You can also get your employees to do marketing. Think of the fact that you have so many employees that touch customers, but when they touch customers, they don't really think about selling and marketing. For instance, if I have a person from Sears, a repair person, come into my house to fix my washing machine, well, could that person also not be suggesting to me that I need to change my refrigerator because Sears has a new technology and a more energy efficient refrigerator? Should they not be looking at my porch and saying, you know, you should th be thinking about remodeling this porch or redoing your kitchen. So this way, your support people, your sales and your installation people can become salespeople. But you have to train them to look beyond their nose. You have to equip them to have the sales conversations. Even your employees more generally, every employee is a brand ambassador and every employee can be empowered to actually think about how they can influence customers and how they can sell. We just need to train them to think that way. Think about your facilities as marketing. What do I mean by that? Well, your office, the trucks that you send out for delivery, you know, even the uniforms and dresses that your employees wear, your corporate offices, your warehouses, your factories, each of these facilities are not just doing what they do, but they're also sending messages. For instance, at Microsoft, they're about productivity. They're about the office of the future. So what they have done very creatively in some of the newer offices that I've visited in Europe and other places, the design of the office actually reflects the office of the future. So the facility itself is marketing, it's sending the message about the brand and the values. Finally, your products can do the marketing for you too. So this is the idea that was first created 20 years ago when Hotmail had the brilliant idea of putting at the bottom, in the footer of every email, PS I love you, get your Hotmail. So every email message that went out was actually a marketing message. So the product can sell other products. Your product can promote itself, the product can promote other products, and the product can become part of an ecosystem. So this is something that we see now, of course, with Google and Apple and Microsoft really building hooks across the ecosystem using organizing constructs like Google Play and uh, the Microsoft ID and Cortana and Google Now and iTunes and the App Store to build connections across the product so that every product is actually marketing other products. So the idea in zero dollar marketing is ask yourself, what do I own? I have customers, 
I have facilities, I have products, you know, I have employees. All of these assets can be repurposed to actually do some marketing and sales for you. And all of this can be done with very, very low incremental investment. So that's the idea of zero dollar marketing. And if you think in these terms, you will realize that everything is marketing and marketing is everything. You just have to look and be creative about how you leverage the assets that you own to do the marketing for you.